Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's Grace Minute. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Grace Minute. Good afternoon, and welcome to today's Grace Minute. Hey, everyone. Uh, thank you all for jumping on with us. I pray that all is well with you, all is well with your household. We pray that you are having a wonderful week. And I just declare that all is well with you. Uh, today, it's going to be good. Bye. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to uh, today's Grace Minute. Thank you all for joining me here. I, uh, I pray all is well with you and you, you continue to be encouraged and hopeful in this time, in this, in this season, uh, that you all may find peace in Christ. And today I want to talk to you about finding confidence in God's identity. And what does that mean? Finding confidence in God's identity. You know, we know that the world defines us and defines people by how you look, how you, how you appear to be. But I want you to look at how God sees you and find your confidence in his identity. And not who you were born in this world to be because you're so much greater than who you were born to be. You're so much greater than what the world defines you as. It's so much greater than, 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 than uh, what has taken place in this nation and, and several nations across the world over thousands of years. What has taken place, you're, you're greater than that. You're, you're greater and you find you're greater in, in God's identity. And 1 John chapter 4, verse 17 says, Love has been perfected among us in this, but that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world, as he is, uh, just as as he is. So we find confidence. Find, you, find, you want to find your confidence in who he is, because as God is, so are you. And he made you perfectly. He shaped you the way he wanted to shape you. Uh, he made us the color that he wanted to make our the color of our skin. He, he knew exactly what he was doing. And we are yet still as he is. And so I want you to find confidence in God's identity. Stop judging yourself because of where you were born or because others put a label on you. Stop judging yourself and being hard on yourself uh, because God sees you as he sees himself because he has made us. For those of us that are, you were born again, you've accepted Jesus as Christ as Savior in your life, we find confidence because as he is, so are we in this world. God bless you guys. Have an awesome day. Uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.